I am so impressed. They have so much still for a pound. Honestly, what is going on? Chava Chops and Room Spray. Readers tinted 150, that's amazing. A mirror for 25p. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's Christmas nearly. What does one pound buy you this day and age? And I can hear you say, not a lot, which probably is correct. Maybe a couple of pints of milk, a loaf of bread, maybe four eggs, something like that. But I'm gonna go up to um, a bargain store that we have in the UK, the Poundland, which is a one pound store. Kind of like, well, a dollar. Tree. Most things now are about £1.50 plus, but we're going to look out for anything that's £1. I do, however, have my autumnal little jacket on. This is from Zara last year. It's super soft. I love it. Um, but I want to get some Halloween bits, uh, see if they've got any like silly decorations for like one, maybe £1.50. Um, but yeah, really interested to see what is a quid these days. And with that British Airways plane flying over, oh, there's blue sky is amazing. I'm definitely not an autumn person, so I'm trying to embrace it this year. Right, let's go do this. Let's go and get, hopefully, some bargains, not get run over in the process. Come on, car. What will we get for a quid? There we go, it says thousands of items. Oh, it did say a pound. Flickery light. Let's head on in as i say i'm gonna try and just get one pound stuff let's grab one of these i'm gonna film you in a 0.5 so hopefully you can see properly but i am a sucker for things like this like snacks that are like a pound i'm not gonna i'm gonna try and steer away from sugar in this but chocolate fingers hold on maybe maybe i'll get one mint i love mint chocolate pack of thai food 100 bags for a quid i love biscoff so this is a value pack i get quite a lot for a pound i'm also gonna highlight the crazy stuff look at this fruit salad flavored water it's 125 so it doesn't go in the the pound bucket oh and wow as well oh my gosh like sweets flavors i don't know how i feel about these they're quite big but they sound a little bit iffy now jubblies <laughs> my dad might be watching this i freaking love jubblies but i like the tropical ones they're just like ice lollies which are I feel like I'm old, people won't know what they are. They're basically like triangle ice, ice pops. I feel like I'm in Mac makeup or a club. It's, the tunes are banging out. But yeah, we've got loads of different toothpastes for a pound, which is quite rare to see. They're 125 mil, a multi-pack of hairbands. That's quite good for kids or whatever. But I feel like they are screaming headache for me. No, no. There's always a lot of hair stuff for a pound. So yeah, you get that massive pack, 25 clips for a pound. Um, yeah, so you've also got slightly more, well, I'd say way more premium things like Piz Buin, if that's I'm pronouncing it, um, a fantastic sun lotion for a fiver, and a lot of, I'm looking at the toiletries, we have got quite a few things, and stuff which is under a pound, I remember um, stuff in supermarkets is often under a pound, so you've got lots of Huggies products there for 75p. I don't know how I feel about products having like edible, like sweet flavours, I feel like that could be quite sickly. That's massive, 500 mil for a pound. That's pretty good value actually. This is really interesting. You can get hair color for a pound. Should I go red? I mean, I would need probably two, if not three, of these because of my longer hair. But yeah, um, and then you have got things like Schwarzkopf for a fiver, which is obviously a more premium brand, and then Garnier for three pounds. Hmm, I don't know if I would trust a one pound hair dye, not to be. I don't know, that would just scare the life of me. But yeah, you've got loads of hair bits for a pound. But I'm going to see also if they've got some socks. The socks that I got here last time were amazing. And this is always fab value. A massive thing. How big is this? 600 mil for a pound of uh, hand wash. I actually love these. And I think I might get one of these for each of my nieces. Um, I don't know. I think they're quite fun. Is this a trend I'm not aware of? So squashies are amazing sweets. So they're yum. But yeah, you've got it in a shower gel, a bath and uh, shower gel. And then you've also got marshmallows. And so sticking on with kind of beauty um you have got jess Wright's range i know she's got quite a lot of stuff um so you've got what is this a sheet mask for a pound and there's a few different ones that's fun thing my bob isn't it so yeah you can kind of come in get yourself some treat things and then yeah more premium things like the micellar water um is obviously more i tend to buy things like this from boots um not sure on the price comparison actually but loads of things even eye masks and for a pound i've got a double pack 200 cotton pads which is great so in the basket okay very quickly i got a copy strike so i had to add this voiceover but makeup galleries are only one everything was a pound eyeshadows lip glosses concealers mascaras it was absolutely bonkers as you can see it had been raided people loved this and they even had nail varnishes for 50p 
Honestly, why do stores have music so loud sometimes? Um, well, we've got a digital thermometer there in the middle for a pound, um, a quality bottle brush there for a pound. Mmm. <laughs> I remember these as a kid, but they're 150, so we're not going near them. We've got some uh, baby oil there, a little one, 200 ml. Um, so you've got quite a lot of the Johnson brand uh, within that price point. And just on the medical bits and bobs, um, I've been buying these. I mean, I, I don't love Lemsip, but when you're really ill, these used to always be about a pound for a pack of five. So as you can see, a bit of a price increase there along with everything in life. Uh, but we have got some pretty cheap uh, painkillers. I'm not going to focus too much on those. Um, but yeah, something like this, they do have multi-buy. So as you can see, three for a pound. Um, a pack of, how many is this? 16. I would say, off the top of my head, are the places. These are usually around 40 to 50p. So that's actually incredibly cheap. And I know the whole hack, well, is it a hack? That you can look for, if I can find it, the PL code on the back so you can compare to some of the branded items. So that is a uh, really good value. I'm not encouraging you to go and buy painkillers, but that is a good deal indeed. I'm really impressed to see how many medical things are still one pound. So you've got ibuprofen gel, um, some heat rub stuff, and also a lot of the massive packs of plasters as well for a pound, and even um, some of the fun ones for the kids. So yeah, unicorns and dinosaurs are the, the duo that they seem to be doing. Oh wow, even Elastoplast, that's quite a big brand. Um, 20 plasters, little jungle theme there. And yeah, lots of painkiller heat pads things those are a little bit more at the top there um, that's a very well-known brand deep heat that's three pounds I think it's probably a normal price but for two pads for a pound it's good I am so impressed they have so much still for a pound how how are they doing it okay this is what everyone comes in for so they're one pound fifty now for prescription <laughs> glasses uh, there are quite a few for sorry one pound it's the sunglasses that are 150 it's a little bit of a mix on pricing as you can see I actually do need to get glasses I probably maybe I should just get some from here but yeah you pick whatever your um, prescription is that what it's called and they have quite the selection readers tinted 150 that's amazing and then they've got little cases as well for a pound and I know these aren't a crud but this is really interesting to see so they've got blue light blocking super thin glasses yeah, I feel like I probably need those sitting in front of a computer all day. And this store has got some home bits. Um, I just, this is amazing. One pound for this Eiffel Tower picture. That is crazy. And this is just a little light frame around it. And you can go and splash out a bit more for three pounds and get a sparkly frame. But something that's just caught my eye. Is this correct? A mirror for 25p? It's just a little like plastic one. But, I mean, come on, if you're like decorating, maybe you just want a little mirror. That's incredible value. But it looks like it is very popular because there's not much left. So hopefully they'll get some new stock in. But yeah, a few good uh, home items are under five pounds. And there's dregs of clothing. There's not much left. Is some of the socks. I've bought these socks a couple of times now um, and they're really, really good. Oh, I want the ones with the colored toes. I know that sounds really silly. So yeah, they haven't got many left. We'll have to come in another time. Time, but these are really good value and then onto some cleaning items oh look at her hello my loves <laughs> i didn't know that she had this multi-purpose cleaner for a pound yeah room fragrance bathroom cleaner etc um and yes this stuff is usually on offer in supermarkets things like domestos toilet cleaner um but yeah it's set at one pound which is great and something i'm gonna get is some glass and window wipes you get 50 wipes for a pound this is good for the inside window um of my windscreen and my car this seems like good value 10 finish um yeah tablets i mean i don't need them i am the dishwasher i don't have one and speaking of cars i'm gonna get these wipes as well just to clean the inside of my car it's just a little dusty and they've got a ton of car bits uh for a pound and under oh gosh we're not quite at the times where we need ice scrapers for the car i don't enjoy winter at all honestly what is going on chaba chops room sprays oh my gosh snacks for later i'm joking a pound for a ton of different uh, what have we got? Little bird nuts and these ball things. Now, I don't have a dog, but you can get one of those dog ball throwers for a pound. I don't know how much they are normally, but I'm pretty impressed to see how many like big name brands are in Poundland. And everything seems to be like a, a price rather than like an offer, um, like a quick sale or anything like that. You kind of feel like you're getting a very consistent price, actually. Um, things like bin bags are definitely cheaper. That's pretty good, isn't it? Like a massive pack of Kleenex for a pound. Um, yeah, they've got quite a few of the massive boxes, actually. And even 
even some of the little multi packs and then you've got loads of different cleaning uh, sponges etc uh, still for a pound and a whole little baking section oh I've never noticed this I don't bake cakes I eat the cakes I just don't make them but everything um, is a pound that's pretty good that measuring cup set they've actually got loads of stuff look at all of this these are 150 um, and then they've got quite a lot of baking bits as well they're about four pounds uh, but matching kitchen scissors I really like how they've definitely themed everything it feels very much like collections or you can splash out for ten pounds and get one of these all the ones at the tops are seven this is crazy and it feels incredibly early at the time of filming this but we have a little sprinkle a little sprinkle of Christmas and we've got these oh they're stress balls are they coming back as a thing oh I'm not gonna squeeze the packaging um, but yeah for a pound they're quite funny aren't they and a little cat and dog on the end there but we've got some decorations toy soldiers etc um, and even a doormat at the bottom I'm just trying to see a price for those oh they're only two pounds but I usually buy things like yeah napkins ribbons wrapping paper I always get stuff from here and I also get them from Primark as well great value but everything oh my gosh I can't believe it's Christmas nearly well I say that it's not nearly Christmas it'll be October by the time I upload this but yeah, my dad actually sent me a picture the other day in Tesco and they've got all the, like, so much Christmas puddings, like, Christmas food already. It's crazy. Shouldn't it be out of date by the time you get there? My goodness. Um, yes, we've got advent calendars. They're always about £2 or £1. Um, but, yeah, they've got, lo like, quite a selection of different characters, um, little selection trays splash out the candy cane but we have got a little bit of a deal there actually two for two pounds so there's not do you see what i mean there's not loads and loads of deals which are um combo offers always great stocking fillers and a bit of a staple even in the supermarkets little tubes of sweets and you've got to wrap them up like they're crackers which brings us on to the halloween section uh which is what i wanted now i personally find um doing like a halloween hunt or something like that the more little bits you have the, the more fun it is so um for now i'm gonna get the little eyeballs i mean i'm not sure what the chocolate's like but it doesn't really matter and then there's loads of other different sweets um and these are yeah like a really really credible brand lots of different um iconic sweets in there including drumsticks which will probably take your fillings out um and then we've got the oh a little lolly pack as well that's quite a big pack actually these are all one pound i quite like these oh they've got these little um those candy stick things which I used to love as a kid as well as some beefy marshmallows. They're huge. They've got little like kind of jelly bit. Oh, have they only got like two yellow ones? Is that made by mistake? I think that might be a mistake, but anyway, that's quite fun. Oh gosh, I'm not sure about those. They, the colour's a bit funny, but for a pound, you've got some loads of Halloween gummies. Now, Halloween stuff here goes out of stock really, really quickly. Oh my gosh, scary. Uh, this does seem like the same stuff that they had last year. But yeah, I remember all of this went out of stock so quickly because I actually came back. I think my sister needed some stuff and there was nothing left. So by the time you're watching this, make sure you get them this type of thing. Even though it's two pounds, that's the type of thing that is going to be popular. I really hate creepy kids. Look at that. Oh, no, I don't know about that. Uh, what have we got? Let's get... Um, this is a little banner. It's good because you can just see it on the back. Um, so I'll go to my sister's and we'll decorate. I feel like the white pumpkin uh, and grey pumpkin trend is still pretty key and I uh, expect to see probably quite a lot coming through over the next few weeks. That's quite fun, isn't it? Put a little tea light in there. Uh, £1.50 for those. They are a little bit more fancy. And these are actually painted really well i'm still not keen on the like the spooky gnome thing even at christmas i'm not a fan of them but there are lots of different lights i'm trying to see if they've got the hanging lamp yeah these um are always really popular i'm trying to see if they've got the ones that hang from the ceiling um yeah they had these last year as well six cute little lights for uh five pounds i'm gonna splash out and spend two pounds on these we've got a ghost balloon kit so yeah that's quite fun you get three balloons and i assume put a bit of net over it <laughs> and they look like ghosts we've got a honeycomb uh ghost as well and an inflatable pumpkin which i feel like i bought last year maybe my sister still bought that or she might have chucked it in the bin to be fair trick or treat sign what's this a little door cover let's see if they've got pumpkin stickers they're always good um instead of carving um an actual pumpkin always oh, a bit spooky and these remind me a bit of christmas tinsel but they've got quite a um a little box there of one pound characters i love all the little bags that they do i don't need to get any they are 150 um but yeah they're quite cute to have i think this loot loot bag i've never heard it called that uh, for 150 i really like the dinosaur stuff another one of these they're a bit naff but they're great aren't they a big pack of um spider webs but yeah they've got 
quite a few little things. Oh, this is gonna be very difficult, um, but let me show you what you can get for a pound. A lot of these big share bags are now over a pound. Um, they have increased in price, but for example, yeah, um, on the far right, these are actually one of my favorite. Uh, you've got minstrels, but they are often on the club card or for a Tesco. So you know what, the prices just kind of fluctuate between um, all of the retailers. So they're usually about one pound, one pound 50. So these are pretty in line with yeah, your supermarkets, you're gonna get a, a bar, a Cadbury bar there for a pound, oh, white, yum. But you will get things like this, so a pack of three Mars bars, which is a pound. Maybe there'd be like one pound 50 in a regular supermarket. So it kind of flicks. Um, and as you can see, it's not a crazy busy area. Um, Milka, oh, Milka Oreo is elite. If you wanna try that, I would really, really recommend it. We also have the Cadbury mystery bars, which I think are 150, um, you know, everywhere. Has anyone tried them? I think there's two bars, right? I might, I need to look into this. There's a mystery filling and I'm sure it would be nice. There is quite the selection of like different tiering of um, chocolate, Ritter Sports. I really like the mint one. They haven't got it, but that's okay. But loads, what's a Shero? What? Oh, someone's smashed the heck out of that one. Or is that just the branding they've added? I quite like that. A Shero. I love an Aero. Yum. Reese's miniatures. I'm not really a massive fan, but for a pound you can get a pack, a five pack, oh they're light, of um, the peanut butter cups. I love eclairs. These are so yummy. I'm going to resist because I have treated myself to those chocolate fingers in the depths of my trolley. And then we're onto the sweets. Oh my gosh, flumps. I freaking love flumps. But um, yeah, what else have we got? Massive packs of Haribo there for a pound. I really like, actually I love all Haribo. Haribo is just yummy. Maybe that kid in the background probably wants a Haribo. He's crying away, bless. And we've got quite, yeah, a big selection of Haribo. What are these? Bala bites? Are they squishy? Yeah, they are a little bit. What a strange concept. Has anyone tried those? I've never seen those before. Am I living under a rock? One thing that I personally love, are uh, Haribo um, giant straws. These are so good. And they've got a whole massive art section. Oh wow. What have we got? Some different markers, glitter packs for a pound. Look at this pen pot for a pound. Honestly, they're strong on the dinosaur. And then they've got this little tape, little cellar tape stand. That's quite fun, isn't it? This is what I was trying to say. Um, like birthday stuff, I've just noticed this. <laughs> I know a few people actually who I could get that for. Something I always like to have is like a bottle bag because I find whenever, or actually they haven't got any gift bags left, um, that's quite nice for a pound, isn't it? And it's quite generic, so pop that in the basket. Some sellotape for a pound, that's pretty good. Um, I would actually say the next time that I move, I would definitely get one of these for £2.50 um, or maybe even, I don't know, that for Christmas. I think this is the most expensive thing I've seen or most interesting for £10. So what's Harry Potter colour in Hogwarts Express? I would like to know how many they actually sell of these can't be many right i feel like i have vlogged this store before am i going mad maybe i have um but the food section we've got a uh, quite the selection of even rockstar um energy drinks for a pound and they uh, they've got a meal deal i didn't know they did this for two pound 50 main drink and a snack so we'll keep eyes out um for what the options could be but i did mention last time i don't remember i must have vlogged this before um, we've got a huge selection of frozen food, Bird's Eye and Young's, both fantastic brands. What have we got for a pound? Probably not a lot, if anything. We've got 10 fish fingers for a pound, which is weird because the packaging says 125, so getting 25p off of the uh, recommended retail price, I think he would say. Even though some of this isn't a pound, it's crazy good value. Look at that, £1.25. Um, we'll have to do an Asda vlog at some point. Um, perfect partners, 10, oh my God, garlic slices. Amazing, I love garlic bread for a pound. We have got a load of corn items as well. And Poundland always have a deal of the week. For, what, three for a pound? Wait, how big are they? Oh, they are quite small, but still, let me just open this. I don't need any, although I want some. Oh, they're individual, okay. Yeah, like little personal, I mean, I could probably eat three. But yeah, three for a pound is pretty good. Um, what else have we got? We've got some, hold on a minute, 75p, but the recommended retail price is three pound for these um, yummies. Since when did Poundland sell like fruit? I did not know this. So there's a few little things in there. But here's the actual meal deal that I mentioned for 250. So there's a few sandwiches to pick from. 
Um, sorry, there's a bit of a reflection there. My jacket's probably ruining the, the shot. Um, some wraps, they look okay, and some uh, pasta salads, etc. You know what, for 250, you can't really go wrong. And you it does get to the point though where you're like, is this usually a pound? And you just get kind of confused about pricing. Genuinely impressed, and yes, there is a pick -a mix as well. How much is it? That's still a pretty decent size for a pound. And yes, they've got this hand sanitizer. Um, a little bit thin on ground on some of the sweets. I personally would like mine pre-packed, but I do love pick -a mix Wait, How much is this gonna be? I can't remember what I have picked up. But yeah, they get you in the aisles, don't they? When you're like, oh, let me just grab this. Let me grab that. <laughs> How was that only 18 pounds? I got so much. Crazy. <laughs> weather it's about 17 degrees i cannot complain and i think i might go to starbucks now i am not a coffee drinker i'll have like a coffee once in a while um i'm definitely not a starbucks person i go to starbucks maybe once a month once every two months i don't want to get in the habit because i would be really bad because i live near so many coffee places um but anyway apparently the autumn menu is amazing there's like 11 new things um so i want to get a drink and I just had a look. Oh, look at the light in the background. It's so sunny, look at that. Um, there is some food, but it doesn't seem particularly autumnal. It seems like a prawn sandwich, which isn't very exciting, and like an apple muffin. Um, but what I want to do, I think there's three new drinks. But this is weird, right? We're in the UK. It's cold most of the time. Two of the three new drinks are iced coffees, which is really weird. Would you not create another warm drink? Bizarre. So there we have a pumpkin cream cold brew the pumpkin spice latte and then the spiced frappuccino. I think I'm gonna go with the first one. And they have highlighted some of the new stuff. Yeah, it's not like particularly autumnal. A Pete, Pete Zetters? Okay, yeah, not too, not too bothered about that. I think this was new as well, these egg bites. Three cheese and ham. Oh no, they don't look good. I have to ask, why is the font, why is it so small? I can't even read it. I do a little cake. Oh, plant-based banoffee mini loaf cake. Oh, I love a croissant. Almond, oh, almond? Almond croissants I adore. But yeah, all the standard things that I'm sure you've got across the world. And they've got a pumpkin reusable cup. Let me just have a quick look. That's fun, isn't it? And as I wait, look at this little charm. Pumpkin spice latte. I really struggled to say it. That's quite Christmassy. The, the, the orange is quite a ready orange. And I really like this spooky one as well. What's on the top? Um, oh, there's stickers as well. That's fun. And this other little one, little autumnal leaves. Yeah, and the little, oh, the London Starbucks cups. I've never noticed those. I got both. I think one will last till tomorrow. So what did I get? The ice blonde salted maple and caramel latte and some pumpkin cream cold, which honestly looks rancid. That like orange foam on the top. Let's see. I've just quickly popped home to put one in the fridge. But yes, the salted one, um, salted maple is understandably super yummy. I'm not convinced by pumpkin spice. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna save that one for tomorrow. It'll probably be okay in the fridge. And instead of filming that in Starbucks, because it was just a bit too busy, I wanted to sit outside, but all the seats were taken. I have got my autumnal jazz coffee shop vibe. Uh, like, what is this? It's like a four hour loop thing on YouTube. I love these videos. Um, I've got some work to do. Enjoy my drink and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of my sunny, sunny day. I'm actually boiling this jacket now and then I'm gonna head on out later. But anyway, um, I hope you're doing well. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next Friday at six o'clock. Ooh, definitely autumnal. I need to watch some autumnal movies. Suggestions, please, TV programs. Need to get in the mood. <laughs> Bye.